Wow! Oh my god! Oh, shut up! No way! Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Merry Christmas, well, belated Christmas, and I hope you're all having a really happy new year. Um, this is gonna be the start of 2024, and I've got the lush kitchen box for January 2024. I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas. I hope you've ate everything that you want. I hope you've laughed loads. I hope you've spent time with people who you care about. I hope that you've, if you've gone to the Boxing Day sales, you've snagged some bargains and just that you've just had a really lovely time. I've had a fantastic Christmas. I've been working, but I've also been able to spend time with loads of friends and family. It's just been a really good Christmas. Sometimes something always goes wrong, but this year it's been a really, really, really good Christmas. So. I'm really truly happy for that and I just want to say thank you again to everyone who has been sending me such lovely messages um it really has brightened my day and made me feel great so thank you so much and I'm back now I've had some time off and I'm back anyway let's open up January 2024 the first box for the year uh, from the Lush Kitchen. Now, if you are just new and you're just watching, the Lush Kitchen, uh, or should I say Lush, um, have two subscription boxes. They have the Kitchen Box and they have the Fresh and Flowers Box. So the Kitchen Box has just changed and I'd love to know what people's opinions of this are. So now it is a curated box. So it's £35 a month plus shipping and they have a curated menu of what is going to be in that box for the month. So normally it used to be that you would vote and there would be surprises, um, but now you can see ahead of time of what you want. Now I know some people, and I've, I've seen it like on the Discord, I've seen it on Facebook groups, really love the idea of being able to see ahead of time um, of, of what they can have because they can go, yes, I know I really want this, um, no, I don't, so I can skip it. And there's that kind of that FOMO of like, oh God, I can't believe I didn't get that box, has now been completely gone. But then there are some people who I've seen who like the element of surprise. I like the element of surprise, um, but I know a lot of people didn't vote. They forgot, which is fair enough, um, and that they're going to miss that element. So I just, I hope going forward that they, they if they're going to do the creative ones, that they are going to kind of sneak in some surprises as well, because um, I would really love that, because that's what made the kitchen box so special. They also do another subscription box called Fresh and Flowers, which is more of a self-care box box that is £35 a month including shipping so you normally get like a little posy of flowers and um, you'll get some sort of skincare items sometimes it's all hair care sometimes it's all um, body care food care it's more if you want more kind of bath and body go with the kitchen box if you want more kind of skincare kind of pampering go for the fresh and flowers box but they're both beautiful in their own way anyway let's just jump in so it's January are you guys having new year's resolutions I know it's a bit of a a kind of a taboo sometimes um with with new year's resolutions but i am i think i'm going to do a video on my new year's resolutions because i do have some um so this is the box i'm going to move the little sheet uh, but i would love to know if you've got any and what they are so it says rise and shine i'm not going to read everything because these cards now can give it away but i like this little kind of sunrise uh, picture here um I i'll give you one sneak peek um, of my New Year's resolution is to stop biting my nails because they are awful. That's going to be one of my New Year's resolutions. Right. Uh, oh no, I'm getting packing peanuts everywhere. <laughs> right. What am I going to go for? I'm going to stick my hand in here. I pulled out a pot. What we got? Oh, okay. We have got a pot of tropical fruit body lotion so we've had this before donkeys ago and i'm never gonna say no to tropical fruit tropical fruit is the same scent family as jungle it just changed its name so it says a tropical rainforest awaits with earthy vetty verd and a woody cypress oil and woody cypress oils in this exotic blend i've got oh do you know what it is that is so annoying <laughs> happy new year everyone i've put on this lip gloss because my lips are really dry and it's just bunching up, so sorry if my lips look gross. Anyway, let's open it up. Oh yeah, I mean, 
they're not wrong when it says a, a rainforest away. It's, it's sweet and fresh. It has a very sharp green note running through it and that's going to be definitely from the cypress oil. I like this style of lotion because it's quite milky. It reminds me a lot of like Karma Cream. So if you like a body lotion that soaks in really quick, um, Karma Cream is great. It is really divine. It smells like holidays. Um, like, like, like a little bit of sun cream in there. It's just really, really lovely. And this time of year makes my arms in particular my elbows dry out loads so I've been really like slathering on the um the body lotion so the ingredients water almond oil fair trade organic cocoa butter you've got glycerin cypress oil uh, cedarwood oil ylang ylang oil vetiver oil it's delicious and it says scoop out and sweep over skin to feel soft and smell wildly irresistible ylang ylang has a sultry sensual fragrance that's sure to leave you feeling adventurous it's great i love that and it's a nice 100 gram pot what have we got next i can't remember what was in up for vote well not vote but up for the thing but oh mm, we've got i think this is called two little monkeys bubble bar and you've got a nice dried piece of uh banana this smells yummy so this isn't the banana that i was kind of expecting it's you can definitely tell that there is banana in there but it's kind of got like a more fruity sort of a scent to it you can definitely i'm going to yeah there's going to be banana because you can see like little specks of black which i'm going to assume is like the the banana seeds it smells lovely this is like the same size as creamy candy bubble bar for reference so i think you would get like i mean i would get one bath out of this because i'm greedy but if you want to make some bath cocktails you could get two baths out of this anything over this side no oh we got a bottle Slammer, I am so glad. So, Slammer was one of the first shower gels that we got in the kitchen boxes all those years ago, and it was only 100 grams, and I l loved it so, so much. So I'm so happy that it's come back as a 250. Now, when I read the ingredients for this, I was like, I don't know if I like it because I'm not a big ginger person, but this is so damn good. So it says, wake up on, wake, wake, Wake on up before you go, go. This invigorating citrus blend is sure to put the boom, boom into your heart and fuel an early start. And it says, oh, on the tag here, it says reinvented ocean plastic. So I know some of the ocean salt pots had um, ocean plastic recycled labels. So I don't know if they're going to do that with every single label now. That's really cool. But you've got water, lime peel, ginger root infusion. Um, you have got fresh seawater, fresh lime juice, uh, litsy kebaba oil, uh, Sicilian lemon oil. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm going to have to have a smell, aren't I? This is like such an energizer. If you love happy hippie, you're going to love this. Oh God, yeah. Oh yeah. This smells like it makes your mouth flood. It smells so juicy. It's tangy. You can smell like the lemon coming through. Um, the ginger definitely adds a bit of warmth and depth to it. I love this and I'm so happy that it's here. And I'm just going to give it a one last little zoom in. It is unreal. And yeah, if you've got Happy Hippie and you get this box, you're going to love this. Right, we have got... A bath bomb? Ooh, I don't know what this is. It looks a bit like the Enchant... Mm. It's going to say the Enchanter, maybe? Or I, I can't think what this is, but this looks awesome. Is this also Slammer scented? I mean, it smells kind of like Slammer. I'll have to have a look in a second. Oh, it smells so good. And then you've got what looks like little lumps of maybe pink Himalayan salt or red sea salt or something like that. This smells... If it isn't Slammer, I'll be very surprised. But again, very fresh, very tart and tangy, like a proper pick-me-up one. And if it is Slammer, I'll be very, very happy because this smells amazing. I love the idea of the old way where you could vote because you kind of got an idea of what you could get. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get it. So I don't know whether going forward I should try and not see 
what so i've just came out the shower so i'm kind of like scrunching my hair up i don't know whether or not going forward i should try and see whether or not i should keep it like a secret so that i get a surprise let me know what you think and then last but not least i'm gonna look at this i think this is the upsy gets emoti bomb wow oh my god wow 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 wee wow that smells so good so i've not had this before this smells incredible this is like i say an emoti bomb it's not the same as a shower bomb so emoti bombs um you might also know them as like shower steamer so you're gonna put this at the bottom of your shower and you're gonna let the water hit it and this is more like aromatherapy so this is gonna be this is gonna wake you up if you struggle to get up this is gonna wake you up if you have a minging hangover because of because it's new year's day this is gonna make you feel good again this it's like pure lemon myrtle if that doesn't have lemon myrtle in i'm gonna be really really surprised a shower bomb you hold it under the running water and it's like aromatherapy but then you also like cleanse your body with it as well um but yes let's have a look at what all the naked things oh shut up no way oh yeah so this is ochre bath bomb or okra but i feel like this is it is i can smell it now that i know what it is but this smells a lot more like stronger than the shower gel um so you've got sodium bicarb citric acid coarse sea salt lemon metal oil brazilian orange oil sandalwood oil uh gardenia extract water <clears throat> i mean it smells amazing and if you've got the okra or okra or whatever you want to call it shower gel from years ago uh kitchen box then you're gonna love this bath bomb we have got up she gets emoti bomb sodium bicarb uh lim sodium bicarb lime oil grapefruit oil sicilian lemon oil water so there's no lemon metal but my god is this like gonna be like the same smell as happy hippie maybe it is like so like i don't think i've got any like nose hairs left like because they're like blasted out because of how like strong and powerful it is it's delicious yeah we're just going to ignore this mess here where i'm starting to tidy up stuff and making more of a mess as i go along <laughs> and then oh it's called a ah, little monkey a little monkey bubble bar so you've got sodium bicarb um cream of tartar fresh organic fair trade bananas gardenia extract lab dan and resinoid dried banana slice is it a bit like sympathy for the skin because it smells creamy but sympathy for the skin has vanilla in it i really love this and i can see the theme with like tropical and orangey like i was gonna say sandalwood but there's there's not sandalwood and tropical fruit i'm trying to think what the linking thing is but very invigorating obviously it's all about like god my hair looks weird um it's all about being very invigorating isn't it so it says this new year let the sun shine through with uplifting products for every inch of you escape into a citrus oasis with january's curated routines here to help you recharge your body mind and soul uplifting shower routine generously lather slamish kitchen shower gel for an invigorating start to your day wash away the gloom with cleansing seawater while lime and ginger help pick you up Blast your favourite dance like no one's watching playlist and you're ready to take on anything. Sensational chow routine. Take your me time to new heights when you pair slammer and ups you get emoti bomb. Place this small but mighty emoti bomb in your shower whilst you wash with slammer. Surround yourself in cheerful, fragrant notes of zesty lemon and grapefruit soak and then sorry and then you've got the mind boosting bath routine soak in sunshine with okra bath bomb and little monkey bubble bar treat yourself to an indulgent bath as you relax in a little monkey skin softening bubbles packed with fresh bananas and okra's aro aromatic brazilian orange oil and soothing sandalwood waters p.s after each routine smooth on trop floral tropical fruit body lotion to lock in moisture and feel good vibes beautiful i like that they're giving little routines in here as well so it kind of gives people ideas on how to use it so that they're not just doing like oh just a shower gel oh just this that you can do more than just washing and i think um people who are new to lush don't realize like oh you, you can have more than one thing in the shower you can you can mix your body scrub and your shower gels together you can mix your shower gels and jellies together you can 
be as creative as you want. And that's what I say to you guys, if you are new or you're dipping your toe into like Lush or Bath and Body products, have fun, mix the stuff together, create your own cool cocktail or routine, whatever you want to call it, whilst you're in the shower. I really love this box. It ticks all my boxes. Um, it is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, would I've liked a surprise? Of course, because I like the idea of surprises. But at the same time, at least now I know what I'm going to get and I'm not going to be a bit disappointed when I vote for something and it's going to be there. However, it does mean that if there's going to be soap in a box, there's going to be soap in a box and it's not going to get voted out. Hopefully they'll hold off on the soap, the soap, the soap for a little while. But yes, I would love to know what you think of this box down below. Are you glad you got it? Do you think it's a really good start to the year? Do you wish you'd got it? Are you happy that, you know, you've skipped this month? Are you saving it for February? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I have, I have seen February's sneak peek. Oopsies. Um, but yes, I would love to know what you think down below. If you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really, really like it, you can subscribe. Um, we're on our way to 4,000 subscribers. Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 4,000. So I'd love to hit that as soon as possible to get that started. You can follow me on social media here. And of course, um, YouTube will recommend some videos at the end. I just, again, want to say thank you so much for watching last year. Uh, thank you if you are new and you're watching and you've just subscribed. I hope Hope you're all going to have an amazing new year. I cannot wait to see what comes for you guys, but also for me and all my friends and family. But yes, thank you so much and I will see you next video. Bye!